Hi, this is MC Bling Daddy here, and this is part of a series of explorations of using command box for coding, as you might uh, in a programming language such as C Sharp or Java. And this particular segment will explore initialization of the code and variables, and our plan is to set up a minecart on a rail here in a location of x of 1 and z of 1 and to extend the railway off into the distance um, using command box and the minecart as a locator. So let's get started then. Our first steps will be to initialize the uh, minecart and we need to put down a bed of a dirt block. We need to put a rail on top of that and we need to put a mine cart on top of that. So let's get started putting down our command box and we'll need three. One for each of the steps. Dirt and rail and mine cart. So let's take a look here with our first step. Uh, of course, I put these down using the right mouse click to place the box. To get into the coding interface, you also use a right click. You can only do this in the creative mode. And so let's right click and we open up the command block user interface and we are now set to enter our first uh, command block command. Now, the presumption is here that you're familiar with command block, uh, not command blocks, but commands already, and so this will not necessarily be anything new for you. But I'll still explain what we're doing for people who hope to um, maybe understand some things they hadn't before. So, first thing is that we do not need to use a slash as we do for command um, commands that are entered directly in the uh, command line. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, put a block of dirt in with the set block command and dirt will be the block that we'll set and I'm using left and right arrows much as you might in a word processor. You can also use cut and paste. And so we are going to use the location of where that hole was that I showed you, which is an x of 1. We do not need to put in x equals 1, but we could if we wanted to. And a y of 1. And these are what are called absolute coordinates because they refer to only one place in the entire world. However, what we're going to do is to use a relative coordinate for the y coordinate and this means whatever level the item doing the command is, whatever level it is at, is the level that you will uh, use for the command. And in this particular case, a tilde is what it's called, refers to the level of the command block. But we actually need to put the dirt one level below because a block is referred to by its bottom side and so we have a set block of 1 tilde minus 1, 1 and dirt and we press enter to get out of the command block. Now to get the command block to execute that particular um, command we are going to use a little bit of um, testing and what we can do is to use a redstone torch to activate the command block and when we do that we will see that a block has been placed, a dirt block has been placed on the coordinate 1-1. One, one. Alright, now what's the next thing we want to do? We want to place a rail on top of that so let's do set block and again we used a right click to get into the user interface. Set block, a rail and the coordinates will be nearly the same. X is 1 and Z is 1, but the rail will sit on top of the dirt block, so all we need for that is a tilde. Okay, press enter, and let's take a look 
and see what happens now I don't want to put the redstone torch next to the first block that we use because it will activate that also so let's see if we can find a place here that will let us execute this block and if you look over to the right you'll see that our rail was placed okay so the next thing to do is to put down a minecart right click and we now have to summon two and we put our locations first one and tilde refers to the location to the level the y level of the command block and it's going to be the same as the rail and one and we need to refer to the minecart entity that can be written as minecart and I'm going to use something that is incorrect just so that we can see what we need to do when you do make a mistake R I D E A B L E it's called a minecart writable and so we'll press enter and then we want to test out this block and see what happens so we can just barely see the rail off to the right and nothing happened okay well now when that happens what you need to do right click to go back into your interface and see if you can figure out from the error message that you get if in fact there is an error and uh, in this particular case the error message is minecart underscore writable is not a valid number well there's two things that we have done actually the first is that when we summon okay I'm using the left arrow and the shift key to highlight minecart writable and get rid of extraneous spaces we need to put the entity for the summon command first so let's try that and we see that now we have the numbers coming after the entity name and let's try this one and still nothing okay and in this case unable to summon object means that it's probably not a valid object although it can be sometimes that what you have is an object is already there and it can't replace it if it's the same object and so that might be why you would get that error message too but I happen to know that minecart underscore writable is not the correct name so pressing enter for done let's see if that works now and ah voila there's our minecart okay so we have coded and tested each of our lines of code and now what I want to do is to connect these so that they get executed all together so I'm going to take out the things that we put in before and put in now something to connect the command blocks I'm going to put in a redstone repeater you have to be careful when you do this that the orientation of the repeater is correct and the orientation is determined by coming from where you are located and going to the item or object that's away from you so in this particular case the um, repeater notice the two torches in effect they light up um, that are placed are towards the second item to be powered we are standing on the first and so we know that the orientation is correct because uh, there is nothing um, uh, directly under us here but the two torches <coughs> are near the second item that we want to power and similarly going from the second to the third we place down another one and we now have uh, connected all of our command blocks with redstone repeaters so that they should execute uh, sequentially so I'm going to try first of all using a torch to activate the um, first of these blocks and let's see I guess I want to point towards the hole that's going to be filled and we see that we do fill a hole but there's no rail and no minecart because these did not yet executed so let's try or not let's try but let's use something that does work and that is a powered 
redstone torch. And so we're going to, uh, let's go back and take a look. First of all, where we are uh, located, um, I'm going to need to, to put the powered redstone torch um, at minus one for X and minus one for Z at an elevation of 69 because it's got to be above the dirt block. So let's see if we can do that. And at minus one, 69, minus one, and oops. No, if I said torch, I'm sorry, it's a repeater. It's a powered repeater that we need to use. And voila, it started, it activated the other repeaters, and we couldn't see it, but it was sequential. You can take a look at that when you try this out. And um, it activated them sequentially, placed down a dirt block. You can barely see, but you can. Uh, a rail underneath the mine cart, and then, of course, the mine cart itself. And then to turn these off, we'll get rid of the powered repeater. And as you can see, the other repeaters then turn off. Okay, well, we have then concluded our initialization. We've set our mine cart up. So it's set to start out from where we want to go. And the next time we will see about extending it out again in this direction and um, see how to set it up so that you can use the mine cart to indicate where you are and using that location extend your um, your railway um, one set of blocks further that's all for now thanks for watching and see you next time